What's up everybody, Justin here, doing a new episode of The List, episode 42. This episode I'll be talking about topics, I'll be doing my NFL 2017 season predictions of the divisional winners. Also I'll be doing my McGregor Mayweather fight predictions it's this saturday on pay-per-views mayweather mcgregor i'm not uh that excited for it but i do want to watch it and i will watch it and i'm very curious to see what the hell's gonna happen in this fight i expect mayweather to win but still there, uh, there's a small chance, very small chance, that Connor could knock out Mayweather. <clears throat> so up first, I'm going to discuss and do my NFL 2017 season divisional winners predictions. I'm going to start off first with the AFC divisions. AFC East, East division. Patriots are in it, Dolphins are in it, Jets are in it, Bills are in it. My uh, prediction for the AFC East, this should be everybody's prediction because it's pretty damn simple. I would bet money on it. I'd put money down in Vegas. The Patriots are winning the division. No doubt about it, they're going to win. They have Tom Brady. I don't care that the guy's 40. He's still elite. And one of the best quarterbacks in the league. I wouldn't take him as number one. I would take Aaron Rodgers as number one. Because he's younger. But Brady's still damn good. And I have no doubt that the Pats will win the division. And they'll probably go to the damn Super Bowl again. Because they're damn good. They have the best coach in the league. And somehow the Patriots made their team even better than it was last year. And last year, they made the Super Bowl. <clears throat> so, Patriots win the AFC East. Dolphins, I'm sorry. Jay Cutler's not going to do a damn thing for you. The guy sucks. Jay Cutler will not even get you through the wild card playoffs in my opinion he wouldn't get you to the second round of the playoffs even if you make the playoffs which i guess dolphins have a lot of talent on offense but it doesn't matter when jay cutler is your quarterback new york jets they're gonna be god awful really bad they're gonna be bad this year jets might not even win three games AFC North and Buffalo Bills, they're not going to win the division. They just traded away one of their best receivers, Sammy Watkins. Traded him to the Rams. AFC North, divisional picks now and predictions. The Ravens are in this division. The Bengals, the Steelers, and the Browns. I'm going to say that our Pittsburgh Steelers win this division. The other teams, I don't think they have a chance. The other team that might have a chance is Baltimore or maybe the Bengals. But I don't think they will. The Ravens, uh, their quarterback's okay. Uh, what's the guy's name? Joe Flacco, he's okay. Bengals, <clears throat> I don't trust their quarterback. Andy Dalton, the guy's... Every year he does good in the regular season, and then he gets injured, and then sometimes they make the playoffs, and Andy Dalton's usually injured and can't even play. So Andy Dalton, that guy's never going to get the Bengals to the Super Bowl. He's not elite. The only elite quarterback in the AFC North is Ben Roethlisberger, and I guess Flacco's okay. AFC South. Predictions. 
Houston Texans in this division. Jaguars, Colts, and Texans. I'm going to predict... Uh, Jacksonville, they don't have a quarterback. Their quarterback is garbage. I don't even know who their quarterback is. Might be Blake Boyle, whatever the guy's name is. I forget his name. Blake Boyle. I can't even pronounce the guy's name. But Jacksonville, they don't have a good quarterback. You need a good quarterback. To win your division, you need a damn good quarterback. You know, like at least top 10 quarterback or elite quarterback or a quarterback that has experience of being in the playoffs Jaguars don't have that Texans got I believe a good quarterback in the draft I forget his name Colts got what's his name uh, Andrew Luck Abraham Lincoln looking ass Andrew Luck <clears throat> Might be injured. I don't know if he's going to start week one. Who knows. Andrew Luck is pretty good. But I I don't trust him. Tennessee Titans. They're going to be a surprise team. In my opinion. They're going to be pretty good. <laughs> so my prediction is. Uh, Tennessee Titans win the division. If they don't, it'll probably be Texans. AFC West. The Chiefs are in it. Broncos, Raiders, and LA Chargers. Chargers decide to run out of San Diego. That wasn't right. I wish they could have stayed in San Diego, but they didn't because they're stupid owner. So... Chiefs, Broncos, Raiders, Chargers. I love the Raiders. I think they're going to be very good. Very good this year. Chiefs are always good in the regular season. Then when they get to the playoffs, they absolutely collapse. And can never get out of the first round of the playoffs, seems like. Uh, Broncos, they have a good young quarterback, but... Uh, I guess they still have a pretty good defense, but I don't know. I don't really trust the Broncos. So I'm going to say that AFC West, if uh, Derek Carr can stay healthy, damn good quarterback, if he can stay healthy, I'm picking the Raiders to win the AFC West. What the hell... I think something's on my face. Anyways, Raiders will win that division. Now to the NFC. <coughs> Apologize for coughing. Throat feels a little, like, sore. NFC East. You got the Giants, the Eagles, the Redskins, and the Cowboys. Cowboys are not going to have Ezekiel J... Elliott, I'm going to say Jackson, Ezekiel Elliott, damn good running back, and he uh, protested his six-game suspension, protested to the league that it shouldn't be that many games. Yes, it should, because uh, you're a woman abuser. In my opinion, you beat up your girlfriend. And he denies it, he denies it, he probably did something to her, threatened her or something. And then on a TM, TMZ Sports, had a video of him, Ezekiel Elliott next to some, uh, I don't know who this woman was, some woman next to him, could have been a stripper, I don't know who she was, or what she did for a living, but he was next to this woman on like a boat, or some moving car, like a moving truck or bus. I don't know where it was. But he decides to grab her shirt. She had like a very thin shirt on. He grabs her shirt. Decides to pull one part of it down. Exposing her breasts. One of her boobs. That was really stupid. On his part. That was dumb as hell. You don't do that to a woman. I don't care if. They're a prostitute, uh, stripper, whatever. You don't go up to them, grab them, and pull their top off. 
that's immature, that's uh, violating a woman, and that is uh, sexual harassment. That's really wrong what he did. So he should be suspended six games. Cowboys Nation, all the Cowboys fans all over, sorry, but uh, he's immature and he's getting what he deserves. A six-game suspension, he's getting what he deserves. I don't care if you're not happy about it. He deserves to be suspended six games for not only the abuse charges, NFL investigated that he did domestic violence, not just that, but... The, the guy's so stupid, he grabbed a woman's top and pulled it down. That is beyond stupid. You don't, you can't do that. If you think you can do that, you uh, could probably be put in jail for doing that. And you should be put in jail. Because you have no business. I don't care if the woman was a whore. You have no business doing that to her. She didn't ask for that. So, this division, NFC East, I'm picking, mm. I'm going to still, I'm going to pick the Cowboys, because they got Dak Prescott, the, I don't think the guy will have a bad season, he's not a rookie anymore, he had experience last year. Even though he couldn't get out of the playoffs and you had a home game, Cowboys, and you couldn't defeat my Packers, could you? No, you couldn't. Anyways, Dallas Cowboys will win the NFC East, in my opinion. Next division, NFC North, my division, my Packers division. Right there. So, NFC North. You got the Vikings, you got the Packers, you got the Lions, you got the Bears. All four of these teams hate each other. Or all the four of these teams have great rivalries. First off, I hate the Vikings' guts. I hate them as a team. I never liked them. They're a dirty team. And by the way, Vikings fans, you've never won a Super Bowl, so keep supporting your team that has never been to a Super Bowl or won it. I think they've been to one, or a couple, and they've never won. So Lions, they're not winning the division. Lions are not the same without Calvin Johnson. Not the same. Without Megatron, because he retired. I think the Vikings have Sam Bradford again as their quarterback. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, I think he's healed from his ACL knee injury, but I don't know if he'll be the starter. I don't know. I haven't followed the Vikings in the preseason, so I don't know who their starting quarterback's going to be. Detroit, they got uh, Matthew Stafford, but again, he doesn't have enough help around him. And their defense might be good, but Lions aren't winning, Bears aren't winning, Vikings aren't winning the division. Packers will win the division. I truly believe that. They got great talent on offense. They just got Martellus Bennett. From last year, Super Bowl winning Patriots, now he's a Packer. Martellus Bennett, great tight end, great player. Now he's a part of the Packers. And another weapon for Aaron Rodgers. Not just Martellus Bennett, we still got Richard Rodgers. We still got Jordy Nelson, still got Randall Cobb, still got Devontae Adams. All, all those guys are very good. Good receivers. And that other guy, what's his name? Uh, Geronimo Allen. Still got him. That guy's pretty good. And last year, he stepped it up as a rookie. I think he was a rookie last year. And um, who else? Well, uh, Jeff Janis, good receiver, if they don't cut him. 
So, Packers, uh, I think they got better on defense because they did a lot of draft picks of cornerbacks for their defense. So, Packers are winning the division. If you don't think so, I don't really care. I'm a Packers hardcore Packers fan will be for life. And they're winning the division. And if you don't think they are, you're stupid. Because Aaron Rodgers is at least the best quarterback in the league or number two best quarterback in the league behind Tom Brady. To me, he's number one because he's a younger. But Brady is the best of all time because he has five Super Bowls. So, NFC South. Now, Buccaneers, Saints, Panthers, Falcons in this division of Falcons are never going to get over what happened to them in the Super Bowl. They're never going to get over that. The Falcons were winning 25 or 28. I think it's 28 to 3. Or over 25 to 3 in the Super Bowl, I think at halftime. I don't know how in the hell how in the hell the Falcons coach and the players, the players on defense are to blame because they were blown up and got too tired and just quit. You should never quit in the Super Bowl. Never. Obviously, the Falcons, I guess they were shocked. And they couldn't believe it, it was happening. Uh, Patriots were making a comeback. I don't know what happened to them. I don't want them to win in the first place because the Falcons defeated my Packers in the NFC Championship. So I wanted the Patriots to beat the fuck out of them. And I'm glad they won. I'm glad the Patriots won. I was very happy. I'm a Patriots fan. Number one, I'm a Packers fan. They're my team. My other teams are the Raiders and the Patriots and I like the Bills also. Anyways... Falcons, how they lost the Super Bowl, they're never going to be the same, especially this year in 2017. Uh, I think they're going to have a Super Bowl hangover, and I don't think they're even going to get to 10 or 11 wins. So I would, uh, Panthers, I guess uh, Julius Peppers went back there. He was on the Packers for three years. Uh, Panthers got a lot of talent. Panthers got better. Saints got Adrian Peterson. So that'll be interesting to watch. How he does. Buccaneers are pretty good. I'm going to say that... Uh, uh, I don't know much about... How good their defense is. But I'm going to say the Tampa Bay Buccaneers win the division. In the NFC South. NFC West. My final division pick. For the 2017 NFL season. NFC West. You got the 49ers. The Seahawks. The Cardinals. And the LA Rams. Rams are not winning. They're like probably five years away from getting to the playoffs. Or at least four years or three years. I do like the Rams. I do like that they hired a young coach. The guy seems like he has a lot of talent. Cardinals. I don't trust them to win the division. Because uh, Carson Palmer, the guy's getting old. The guy could get injured easily. And be out for the year. Seahawks. I don't like them. I think the Seahawks as a team, they're way too cocky. I don't like that. I don't like how they act. I like Russell Wilson. The guy is a good guy. Good guy. Never gets in trouble. He's a good guy. But I don't like the Seahawks as a team. They're fans and everybody that likes Seahawks, the players and their fans just think that they're the fucking shit. And they're not. Yeah, they won one Super Bowl. 
And they were to another Super Bowl where they really fucked up. Pete Carroll, why the hell didn't you run the ball? Into the end zone with Marshawn Lynch. By the way, Marshawn Lynch came out of retirement and decided to join the Raiders. And not go back to Seattle. So, uh, Pete Carroll, why didn't you run the ball in the Super Bowl? I think it's third down. Might have been fourth down. But the, the play before his fourth down, you didn't run the ball. And you should have. You were at like the two, three yard line. You didn't run the ball. That was dumb as hell. Instead, you decide to pass it and it gets intercepted in the end zone right at the goal line because you're stupid as hell, Pete Carroll. You could have won two Super Bowls. Instead, you really fucked up by throwing throwing the ball and he got intercepted and I loved it and I laughed and I I loved it when that happened so who's winning this division 49ers are like three years away four years away from being good and going back to the playoffs it's amazing how the 49ers have fallen they're in the Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick and uh, their coach, Jim Harbaugh. They were damn good for like three, four years. And then they fired Jim Harbaugh. Or he wanted to leave, I don't know. But they got rid of him. That was stupid. And Colin Kaepernick, the guy didn't have a good season last year. Probably because he didn't have his coach, Jim Harbaugh. Who made him better. By the way, Colin Kaepernick, I don't care that the guy want kneel kneel down. That's his decision. That's his life. He has a right to do that. But it is Colin Kaepernick, it is wrong that he's not on an NFL roster. He should be at least a backup because he's not that bad. He's a, a lot better than like probably 10 quarterbacks I could name that he's better than. He's better than the Jaguars quarterback, better than the Jets, better than a lot of a lot of quarterbacks. So Colin Kaepernick, I am not a fan of the guy, but he should be on an NFL roster. He deserves another opportunity on a different team, at least as a backup or a starter. Because he was he got to the Super Bowl like two, like a couple years ago. He was in the Super Bowl, so he can't be that bad. So the NFL owners and commissioner they claim that he's not being blackballed by the NFL. I think he is. The owners do not want to give him a job, and that's wrong, really wrong. So there are my NFL. 2017 divisional predictions. I got the Seahawks and the NFC West. Seahawks will win the division. Tampa Bay I got. And I got the Packers. And I got the Cowboys winning the division. And I got the Raiders winning the division in the AFC West. And I got the Titans winning their division. And I got the Steelers and I got the Patriots. Those are my 2017 NFL predictions. Don't like them? Make your own predictions. Make your own predictions video for the 2017 NFL season. Those are my divisional picks. I'm not going to predict who I think is going to be in the Super Bowl because that would be stupid to do that right now. So I'm next. Next topic... Oh, I should leave this on, actually. No, I shouldn't. My next topic on this episode 42 of the list is mayweather Conor mcgregor boxing match. It's a boxing match, not an MMA match. This is going to be a train wreck, a circus. It, it already has been a circus. Especially in their press conferences they've had. All they've done is 
cuss each other out and just call each other names over and over. That can get real old after doing that one time. And McGregor was kind of, uh, people were calling McGregor racist because he called Floyd boy. He said, you're my boy. You're going to be my boy. He's not racist, please. And he was, that was funny stuff. And McGregor in the press conferences was calling McGregor old. Saying, you're an old man. I'm going to knock you out because you're an old man. Stuff like that. Then he's yelling at uh, Floyd at one point, yelling at him, you can't even read. You can't even read. That is damn funny. That was damn funny. And then Floyd at one point during one press conference just had a bunch of bodyguards or his entourage going duffel bags and throwing money up in the air. That was pointless and stupid. It's probably all dollar bills anyway. And it was probably only like $4,000 or something. So we know Floyd Mayweather loves his money. The guy loves money. And uh, good for him. The, the guy loves money, but he also loves blowing and spending his money like crazy. I think when he's done boxing in like 10, 20 years, and not 20 years, he'll probably retire in 5 or 10 years. When he's done boxing, I think he's going to go broke. He's going to go broke and bankrupt, in my opinion. Because the guy's really stupid with his money. Doesn't s save anything. The guy spends like, goes to a strip club. I guess he has his own strip club now. <laughs> he was talking about he owns his own strip club on Jimmy Kimmel. So anyways, the guy's stupid with his money. He spends like 50000 at a strip club. That's ridiculous. That is just stupidity. Floyd is really stupid with his money. But for this fight, like it or not, the guy's going to probably make like $300 million or something. Some crazy number like that. Probably make $300 million. Conor McGregor will probably make, I don't know, $50 million, maybe. $25, 30000000 million after taxes. I don't know what he'll make. But McGregor's going to get a damn good payday. But Floyd is going to be way above him. Getting way more. So, my prediction. Who the hell could predict this? My guess. My predictions, Floyd Mayweather will win. The guy's a defensive boxer. He's boring as hell. He's a boring fighter because all he does is do defense. All he does is he's a defensive boxer. He's not exciting. He doesn't go at his opponent. He never goes at them and tries to knock them out. He's just a defensive boxer. And that is smart on his part. He's undefeated. I don't know what his record is, but he's undefeated in boxing. So will it ruin his uh, legacy if Floyd is knocked out or loses? Yes, it will. His legacy as a boxer will definitely be tarnished. And it will be really embarrassing, in my opinion, for Floyd to lose. Again, I don't think he'll lose. I think... If it's Floyd will probably go 12 rounds and just play to not fight, to not get knocked out and just play defense all 12 rounds and probably win in a decision, in a unanimous decision. But there is like a, there is a 5%, maybe 10% chance, 5 or 10% chance that Connor connects with a knockout punch and knocks out Floyd or knocks him down. There is a 5 or 10% chance that could happen. Will it? I don't know. This is going to be a train wreck. That's why I got to see it. It's this Saturday on pay-per-view. Mayweather McGregor. McGregor, current UFC fighter. Can McGregor go 12 rounds for, I believe, 36 minutes? 
I think 12 rounds are. UFC, 5 rounds. He's only gone 25 minutes like once in his UFC career. So Floyd, I believe Floyd's going to have more conditioning under his belt than Conor. Because Floyd's used to it. And Floyd is used to going 12 rounds. Or probably more. Conor will probably... I think Conor will be tired. After 8 rounds, he'll be really tired. If he even goes 8 rounds. My prediction, Floyd will not get a knockout. Conor will not get a knockout. Floyd, they'll go the distance on 12 rounds. And Floyd will win by unanimous decision from the judges. That's my prediction for Mayweather, Conor McGregor. I will be watching it. I will be live tweeting it. And I might even do a live reaction. So, hope you enjoyed this episode 42 of The List. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Did my NFL season divisional predictions. Also did my Mayweather counter predictions. Bye for now, everybody.